you want to appreciate what it's going to be like during the Messianic era, I would say the closest we ever will get until we get to the Messianic era is the reign of King Solomon. Solomon's able to capitalize on all the great accomplishment of King David, to unify the various tribes of Israel, to make Jerusalem his capital city, to subdue all the surrounding peoples who could have been a threat, to build a mini empire. So Solomon gets 40 years of peace and prosperity. A concept that's almost unimaginable to us today. Today, you don't get four minutes of peace in the Middle East. But we also see the other ideal, that the nations of the world all come to learn from King Solomon, which is, of course, the explanation for why he had so many wives and concubines. Because every king and every leader in the world wanted to have an alliance with him. And that's really the Jewish idea. Not that we conquer the world and stuff our worldview down people's throats, but that the Jewish people create a model society. And we say imitation is the highest form of flattery. A model society that the rest of the world comes and wants to learn from. And we see that Solomon's able to build the temple and elevate the world and God's presence rests in Jerusalem. It doesn't get better than that. And we also understand an interesting concept, by the way, that there are two periods of time when there's no conversion allowed in Judaism. One will be in the future and one was in the past. In the future, it's during the Messianic era. And in the past, it was during the reigns of King David and especially during the reign of King Solomon. And there's a connection between the two. What do they have in common? They're both ideal times. And we know that to be a Jew, you have to have commitment. You have to do it because it is difficult. Anyone who's converted, if you know a Jew by choice, they'll tell you. The court tells you no and loses the paperwork and try it until the moment you, a person goes to the mikvah, which is the final step of conversion. They try and talk you out of it because they want to see that you really, really want it. To be Jewish, you got to have commitment. That's what Abraham had. You got to show that you got what it takes. You'll take the pain. You'll make the sacrifice. You'll live with the reality of what it means to be a Jew. When Messiah comes or during the reign of King Solomon, King David, everyone wants to join the Jewish people. When it's obvious and easy, the gates are closed. So we understand that this is really the true ideal time. And it gives us just a little bit of a taste of what it's going to be like in the end of history when we finally have the third temple and the messianic era.